we've got all of our uh, files is, are associated with the same package. All right, you'll take a look over here. We have no errors, okay? Everything is ready to go. So if I right click on project one and choose run as Android application, all right, um, we need to save everything. All right, I'm gonna bring open my emulator and touchpaint.java will come open in the emulator here in a second. Take a look down at the bottom. It indicates down here that it is starting the activity. And here we are, touchpaint.java. Now, if I mouse over it and I click on the screen right now, nothing happens. I'm not getting anything. If I activate the emulator touch, the trackball by hitting F6, you can see up in the top corner, the trackball is moving. Nothing is happening. I'm not getting any kind of painting at all. When I start this program on the hardware device, it works, right? But it's not working in the emulator. So let's make it work in the emulator. Um, I'm going to go to touchpaint.java, which is this file here. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You could search for this, too. And we are going to find a file that says on touch event. All right? And, you know, in the on touch event, what we've got here down at the bottom is every time that, you know, this on touch event is what happens when the user touches the screen, okay? And every time the user touches the screen, what it boils down to is it's going to execute a method called draw point, all right? And it's going to get the X coordinate, it's going to get the Y coordinate, it's going to get the pressure, and it's going to get the size that it should paint, all right? Now, when I'm clicking on the emulator, the pressure is registering as zero every time, okay? And if you take a look, let's it, it's a float, all right? And that's that's basically, it's a number value, it's a float. So instead of event.getPressure and having it try to find a pressure and return zero, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase event.getPressure, and I'm just going to provide it with a static hard-coded value of, say, 100. All right? So I'm going to put 100 in there because I know it's a float, and it very well could return 100 if the user presses and it returns a pressure value of 100. So every time now we get 100. So I'm going to click Save. All right. And I'm going to now right click on my project up here. And I'll go ahead and zoom in this time. Right click. And I'm going to write, uh, choose Run As Android Application. All right. And let's take a look at what it says down here. It's installing it on the emulator. And you get all everything you need. Success, starting activity. All right, so let's go to our emulator and see what's happening. Starting intent, it'll probably pop right here. And when I click now, you can see that I'm getting little tiny dots, and it is painting on the screen because now that pressure is set. But you know, we're not getting a very good we're not getting a very good paint. It's it's just sort of passing a few dots. So let's change one more value before we quit this tutorial. Um, okay, so it's executing the method draw point, right? Well, it just so happens that method is right underneath that on touch event, all right? And we've got all kinds of things set up here. Um, so where it says M canvas draw circle, all right, by mousing over it, it tells me everything float X, float, it tells me the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and the radius. All right, so the third variable inside of the a draw point method is the radius of the point. All right, and let's take a look. M current width is our third one, and so that's a, that's a variable once again that's passed in. Well, let's go ahead and hard code that, and I'll go ahead and I'll give it a value like I'm going to guess right now, and I'm just going to say 20. All right, so our third one is the radius because by mousing over the um, this particular part of the program, it shows us what values it accepts. All right, I'm going to hard code 20 in there. And uh, let's go ahead and execute it now. I'm going to choose Run As Android Application. And let's see if we can't get a clearer effect here. It's installing the APK. Starting the activity. And we are now starting the intent. It'll pop up. Let's take a look and see what we got now. And you can see I have much clearer, bigger circles here by changing that value to 20. So now we've got a touch, a touch paint program that works on the emulator. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned. We'll, uh, I'll produce more tutorials as we sort of work through this with my eighth grade class. We'll be looking at more APIs, more demonstrations.